Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. I have been getting a lot of emails asking about Ranger's new texture paste and how it compares to the embossing paste that I use in videos quite often. So in this video you're going to see me using texture paste for the absolute first time and using it along with the embossing paste to get in you know side by side comparison of the two. How they're alike, how they're different, and which I prefer. So you can see both of them come in very similar containers. They contain about the same amount of product in the two. On the left is the embossing paste from Dreamweaver and Wendy Vecchi. I love this product. I've been using it for a few months now. On the right is the brand new texture paste from Ranger. Ranger is one of my favorite companies. They have great products that are made in the U.S. and super high quality. So I knew I would probably like this product too. So let's go ahead and open these up. You've seen me use embossing paste before, it's nice and creamy, and I find opening up that the texture paste is very much the same too. But I think the best way to look at this is to go ahead and just dive right in. So I've got both of the containers here. Throughout the video, I'm going to have the embossing paste on the left and the texture paste on the right, and I'll try to write it so you can see. Using my favorite palette knife, I'm just going to scoop a little out of the embossing paste, and you can see it goes on kind of like a buttercream frosting. It goes on very easily, it's very light and airy. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean off my knife and go into the texture paste. It looks the same and it seems the same, but it's a little bit thicker, a little more, oh gosh, I don't know how to describe it, a little bit smoother and thicker. Not a whole lot. It's not very noticeable. Like if you didn't do a side by side comparison, I'm not sure you would see that much of a difference. They both go on very easily and they're both a perfect white. So. Let me go ahead and tilt this in the screen so you can see the difference between the two. I find that the embossing paste here on the left has a little bit more texture to it than the texture paste on the right. It kind of goes against the names, but you can see that it's just a little bit smoother on the texture paste on the right. But really, it's not that big of a difference, but I think you can see it here. Let's go ahead and look at what this looks like when it's dry. So the finished product. Granted, I just kind of threw some on some paper here, but you can see that the embossing paste has a little bit more texture. The texture paste is a little more smooth. However, the difference in how they feel. The embossing paste is, very, is pretty flexible and soft, whereas the texture paste is a little more firm. Now, neither of these will crack and fall off. They stay on pretty well, so you don't have to worry about that. But it really, it, it depends on what you want. The texture paste has a little bit, is a little bit firmer, but not a huge difference. So let's look at the, the basic application of using these over a stencil and see if there's a big difference here. I have a stencil from Tim Holtz. This is one of my favorite stencils. I'm just doing this on some cardstock. I'm taping it down with some painter's tape so it doesn't shift. Let's start with the embossing paste. Now with both of these, by the way, you want to make sure you put the lid on or this will thicken up very quickly. It dries very fast. So using my palette knife, I'm spreading this out over the stencil. You can see it goes on very smooth. Uh, you, you want to be careful to make sure you get a nice even coverage if that's what you want by going back and forth over it. And you can see it's very um, opaque. You don't see through it very much. Now onto the texture paste. I found that this since it's a tad bit thicker, it actually seems to go on a little bit smoother and it takes a little less effort to get a nice smooth even coverage. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So they both go on really well and the results are both very nice. There's not a whole lot of difference when it comes to applying this. So now when I remove this, you'll see that you'll end up with a bright white image just like you get with the embossing paste on the left. It might be a little bit brighter, um, but Again, it's not a huge difference. So you can see the comparison here after they've dried. Again, there's a little more texture on the embossing paste and a little more firmness with the texture paste on the right. But they are very close and they both give incredible results. So, so far I'm not seeing a huge amount of difference between the two products. We're going to keep playing around with it and see what we can find. So let's look at adding color. First I'm going to go ahead and mix color into the paste and see if we can see a big difference that way. I'm using my Distress Ink on my craft sheet and Peacock Feathers. I'm going to put a little bit of the embossing paste into the ink over here on the left and mix that up with my palette knife. You can pretty much use any ink, re-inker, or paint to color your embossing paste and you can get great color this way. You can make it bright, you can make it light, whatever you want. So I'm just seeing how this mixes in and you can see you get a nice soft teal color when you mix this up. 
I like to mix my colors in on a craft sheet using a palette knife. You could use a credit card or scrap paper if you want to um, for a, instead of the palette knife. And you can just work on an acrylic block if you want. Okay, now this is the texture paste over on the right. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And again, I find that they behave very similar. This, um, the texture paste over on the right goes on, again, a tad bit smoother than the embossing paste on the left. But I really like both results. You can see the difference between the two there. I do like bo that both of these have a very matte finish. I don't really like the shiny embossing paste that much. So I think that they're both just absolutely beautiful. And now that I'm at this point, I wanted to show you about cleaning up both of these. I just thought I'd throw this in here. They both are very easy to clean up. You do want to clean it up before it dries because it becomes a little more challenging then. I like working on the craft sheet because I can just clean it up with a cloth or a baby wipe and I'm good to go. But both clean up very nicely. Okay, so now that we've tried adding color to the paste by mixing it in, I want to try adding color to the top. And this is where you see the big difference between the two. I went ahead and applied the paste to two pieces of cardstock here and let it dry. Now when you add ink over uh, the embossing paste, you can see the embossing paste somewhat resists, resists the color. So where you see the light diamonds, that's where the paste is. But if you do it over the texture paste, the color pretty much goes on both the paste and the paper. So this is where I'm seeing the biggest difference between these two products. The embossing paste kind of resists the ink when you add it on top and you get that soft look, which is beautiful. But then the texture paste absorbs the color. So if you want to color your embossing paste on top, this does a better job, or the texture paste does a better job. Let me show you how that works again. So I put embossing paste and texture paste over the stencil. I let it dry. And now I want to show you adding color on top. I'm putting the stencil back on so we're only ending up with this green color on the paste. So you can see on the embossing paste, when I rub really hard, I still only get a soft green. But over the texture paste, when I rub really hard, I get a true green, the same color of that ink. So it takes the color better. It just depends on what you want. I think they're just two different products. They're both lovely. So it really depends on what you're looking for. But if you want to add color on top of your embossing paste, you might want to reach for the texture paste because it takes the color better. It's at this point where I realize I'm probably going to use both of these products because I like the resist properties of the embossing paste, but I also like that the texture paste absorbs the color and traps it, and I like that. Okay, so let's look at watercolor. I have a video coming up with these watercolors. They're just beautiful. It's a new-to-me brand, and it just goes on like butter. But I have applied some embossing paste and texture paste onto some watercolor paper here and let it dry. Now I'm misting both sides with water to get it saturated, and I'm going to take my brush and wet it and pick up some watercolor. You can use any watercolor for this. I just wanted to see how the paste reacts with watercolor. So putting watercolor over on the embossing paste on the left, you can see it kind of absorbs it up, but then it kind of pools around the edge. Then on the texture paste on the right, I find the same thing, that the texture paste takes in some of the co more color than the embossing paste. Again, they're both beautiful, and when they dry, you get great results, but the texture paste does take more of the color. So I think this is the big difference between the two products, and I'm sorry to say it, but I like both. It just depends on what I'm looking for. Okay, now with heat embossing, I don't, I, one of the things I like to do with my embossing paste is put embossing powder on top of it while it's still wet and heat it. So I have two, um, the embossing paste and the texture paste down here, and they're both still very wet. I just put them down. I'm going to put liquid platinum embossing powder from Ranger on top. This is one of my favorite embossing powders. When I'm doing this, I like to put a lot of the powder on because I want to make sure that it gets on the sides of the pattern and on the top. So you'll see I'm spending a lot of time to really make sure I get lots of the powder on, on and I kind of rotate it and put more on. So now I've just put it on there, and what I'm going to do is set this to dry. I find when putting embossing powder on top of your paste, it's best if you put the powder on when the paste is wet, but set it aside till the paste is dry, so maybe like a half hour or so, and then come back and heat set it. So you can see here, they both held the powder on about the same. I let this dry for about a half hour and I'm coming back with the heat gun. If you don't let the paste dry before you bring the heat to the powder, it kind of bubbles up. So I'm trying to avoid that. Now I've used the embossing powder on embossing paste many, many times and you can see that great smooth look you get. It makes it look like you have a metallic paste when really you're kind of cheating and just putting the powder on top. And I love the results of it. 
Now there is a difference here with the texture paste. Even though they spent the same amount of time drying, I get more bubbling with the texture paste. I don't know if it happened to be how I applied it, if I might have done something different, but I do see that there is more texture to the embossing powder on the texture paste than on the embossing paste. And you can see the difference here. Both are really cool, but it's something to keep in mind if you plan on putting embossing powder on it. I do like both, but I think the embossing paste gives smoother results with the embossing powder. There's one last question that I think some people may have, and that is a comparison of the price. And there's actually a pretty big difference. The embossing paste is about $11, whereas the texture paste is only about $7.50. So if that makes a difference to you, that's one thing to consider also. Okay, so I have just done a comparison of my you know, the things that I look for in paste, between the embossing paste and the texture paste. So the final verdict is I like them both. It really just depends on what you want to do with them. I think of these two as my children. I can't love one more than the other. They're a little bit different. They both have something to offer, but I love them both. Now, if you're deciding you only want to have one child, I. I guess I would suggest the texture paste because it's a little bit smoother, a tad bit smoother, and it takes color a little bit better. But again, I think they're both wonderful. If you're interested in these products, they're linked below in the YouTube description. Also, please head over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com. You can click here to go there. I'll have much more information and also some links to some videos with ideas on how to use these products. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you'll stop back by again soon.